Hello and welcome to another episode of The Walking Dead. Um, last episode we accidentally set off the alarm. Um, so I think obviously that's going to cause a bit of a stir with the friends of ours outside. Well, one friend, I guess. <laughs> or maybe not. Uh, shit. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. Nah, just leave him there. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. Nah, just leave him too. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. I want to keep the axe. No, I can't get back. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, what the hell do I do? Um, 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 what do I do? 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 Oh, God. I'm not into that sort of thing. I'm sorry, man. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. <laughs> Oh god, what I do? 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 Oh, click. Oh god. Are you sure? Just shoot Doug. Can you look for something that's in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Use Duck's arm. Oh my god, click it. Got to click it. Did I click? Oh, Q. E. Good damn. Ah, oh, good job, Clemmy. I got it. I got it for you. Come, Clem, not Clemmy. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, do I choose? So do I choose the fat geek or the person with tits? Um, sorry, I'm afraid it's only one choice. No. Yeah, yeah. LOL. No, 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 no. Get off her. Get off her, bitch. God damn it. Oh, I gotta run. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. What? You bitch. What the hell? What do I do? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the hell? Jesus. Let's that, click his hand. There we go. Okay, so someone's gonna die today. I'll, I think I'll put him in front of Duck for a little while. <laughs> what an asshole! I won't let you grab- I won't let them grab you again, Clem Clem. It's okay. Ew. Don't wipe it on yourself. <laughs> it was not awesome. <laughs> Stupid kid. Oh my 
Okay, let's see what we got to do. Let's talk to everyone who's looking all hey, dreary. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Oh, she knows about Atlanta or something. I can't remember. Uh, do you go do? I think that's the wrong call. I guess wrong call. Yeah. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe, but I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Let the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. <laughs> I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. You better deliver that pizza on time. <laughs> I love how he's got shit happens on the back of that truck. Let's talk to Kenny. He saved my Thank life. You. Close call back there. He's my friend now. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself... You two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Okay. He's my friend now. Where's that annoying bastard? Gonna kick his ass. Oh, Carly. Let's speak to Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Poor guy. I'm sure he liked yeah, you too. I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? You got tits. You. <laughs> you picked me. Um, um, uh. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Well, not really. The other guy is pretty useless. Clem Clem. Fuck off, duck. <laughs> oh, there you are. Pow, pow, pow. I thought that super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? We'll just okay, fuck sorry. off. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there. I'm sorry, Clem Clem. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another. Ah, oh, what an asshole! What do you want? You like my daughter? Nope. Not really. 
Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? Go ahead. I asked you a question, boy. And I can kill you just again, as easily. I expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Ooh. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We can stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Got yeah, plenty of light. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, everyone. Oh, wonderful. So, I guess that's this episode finished. Oh, I guess we have we can watch the preview. Well, most of you probably don't know what's going to happen. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. We can eat their bodies. What happened with the walkers at Hershey's <laughs> farm? You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry as much as the bandits. <laughs> Who the hell's that? <laughs> The music getting so loud. God damn it. New characters. No more, please. No more, please. Please, Oh my gosh. So yeah, that next time on The Walking Dead.